Hey everybody, Ben here from the Burnout Podcast. Now we've got a bit of an unbox and review for you today. We are going to be looking at the Forge World model, Creek Rust Gouger, the Verminator. So the model does come in a plastic clamshell pack like this. This is like buying scissors. You will need to cut it open with something. So have your clippers ready to go. Now we'll take a look at the pieces and the casting in a second, but the box does come with the instructions on the back, which is incredibly useful. Now at the moment, this is on Forge World at 28 pounds. So Forge World is a bit pricey, but as far as their models go, this one's actually got quite a lot of heft to it. Now Creek will play for, we believe, a favored of and underworld challenge teams so underworld skeeve and all your chaos teams are going to be able to run this piece we don't have the full model rules for them yet which is interesting this is the first time in blood bowl that we've had a model released without the rules to back it up so i can only assume he's going to be in spike 13 and that that's going to drop soon hopefully anyway let's have a look at the model Okay, so Creek Rust Gouger comes in five different pieces, which for a model this size is pretty refreshing. We've also got Wilhelm Cheney to do, and Wilhelm comes in a little bit more than five pieces. So the fact that this big, chunky beast goes together really quickly, very refreshing from Games Workshop. As to the resin itself, it's quite a soft resin. So when I took the supports off, you can use the blade of your clippers to kind of flatten most of it down. Now it is resin, so you are going to have quite a few bits of flash on there. And as we look and we build this model, we'll probably find a few bits that I have in fact missed. But that is kind of par for the course when it comes to Games Workshop. And just in fact, when it comes to any model, you're always going to get bits of flash and build marks. Now you can see uh, resin cast in detail, though, is superb. Like the Forge World models, say what you want about them. The quality of the cast it tends to be fine. And when it comes to the detail here, it's brilliant. Like, I'm very happy with that. So one body piece, one shoulder piece, including the face there, uh, which you can see in that video. Now, there's a few bits of flash on this shoulder pad I've missed. Uh, but hey, we can tidy that up a little bit later. Best thing to do with this is because you've got the supports where you're going to be gluing the pieces, uh, you want to do a dry fit to see the best way for it to go together. And just to make sure that it fits okay so we've got body piece left shoulder piece we've got the big chunky arm with the uh, chain there that goes into the big rock that he's standing on you've got the left arm too which will fit into the shoulder bit there when the, once the pads on and as ever with a skaven model we've got this separate tail so i tell you what let's give him a quick build And there we have it, Creek Rust Gouger built. Now the fact to come in, in five pieces is, <laughs> is, is really good. And they fit together really well. As far as the Forge World models go, this, is, this has been a pretty decent build. Now you'll see, if you don't get it to line right up, and because of the way resin works, you may have a few gaps here. So if you are a pro painter, that kind of gap we can see there on the camera is going to take a bit of filling or something like that. It depends. When you work the model together, you can shave it down. I mean... I personally probably think that the, yeah, I think the, the prime is going to cover that. Actually, that's quite a big gap in the back there. I don't know, maybe I could have pushed the piece together a bit more, but I don't know. I wasn't expecting to have that much of a gap. Anyway, it's not the end of the world. And as far as the Forge World models go, it's all right. Now, the great thing about this model is the size. So you can probably tell on screen it is quite big. Now, let's bring up a golem. So this is a strength seven model in the game we expect we actually haven't seen the rules for him yet as this goes out but we're expecting him to stay strength seven now look at the size there so he comes with a 32 mil base i've just put a dab of glue on there because i am going to put him on a 40 mil because he's a big boy anything strength five or more really should be on a 40 mil base in my opinion but look he's got head shoulders chest um <laughs> bigger and above the golem there and just from a pure mass point of view like he really tanks him. If you put him on the table there, let's see if we can get. So see when they're side by side on the table, you can see that Creek takes up definitely a 40 mil round kind of space, but also just mass wise, massively bigger than the Golem. We've got a Black Orc here as well, and you can see height and mass. He absolutely dominates that piece. And we've got an Ability Blitzer here. These are all from the Bono Championship because I have them at hand and they are kind of painted. You can see that this guy lines up against Strength 3, Strength 4 players and is just 
massive. So with the model built, we can actually have just a slow look, give it a bit of a rotate and have a look at all the different design styles that's on it. I really do like the way they've gone with this. It was a star player and a model that was not needed, but that's actually part of its charm. So essentially it's a rado. You can see all the stitchings where it's got scars, where it's been taken apart and put back together again. You can see in the back, in the center of its back, you see it's got this, I don't know what I'm gonna assume is some kind of warp stone powered engine to get him absolutely motivated. And you can see it's kind of just the flesh is kind of toned around, like tied to it. It's really well done. You've got bits of like the bionic elements to this model just poking through there from the wraps and within its skin. And it's a really scaven design. It's got that kind of Frankenstein steampunk, I don't know, like magic punk kind of vibe. And I think it's a really well, really well done model. You've got the detail on the face there with the little bionic eye and everything and it ties in really really well and there you have it so creek rust gouger as far as star player models go from forge world this guy is my favorite he's got appropriate size the design is brilliant it's a shame we don't have rules for him right yet but i don't think that's going to be long before he comes out now if this is anything like the old version uh strength seven move five ball and chain he is going to land and he's going to make a massive difference in blood bowl and you know what, while there are going to be some great third party models out there for him, this is probably one of the only times I highly rate this star player model from Forge World. I know it's expensive at £28, so you're looking at £30 plus for postage. But if you've got nothing else to spend your hobby budget on, and you want to have him in your team, and you want something really nice to paint, I actually can recommend this model. Some of the other star players, find an alternative, no problem at all. But when it comes to Creek Rust Gouger, I think... It's going to take the third party teams a tough time to beat this model. Anyway, thanks very much for watching, guys. We'll be back soon with more Blood Bowl content. Happy blog. Thanks very much for watching. We really appreciate your support. If you want to help support the channel even further, please like and subscribe or come join us on our Patreon. We have early access to content. We get loads of feedback from you guys and we try and do competitions as much as we can. Or you can get yourself some Bonehead Podcast merch on our Spreadshirt site. So if you want to support a team, especially for the Bonehead Championship, you can pick up a shirt, a mug, things like that. It all helps support the channel and we really appreciate it. Anyway, links below. Thank you very much. Happy blocking.